Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Your Persuasion Coach. I'm Wayne Sutton here with Dr. Hank, and I'm really excited about this show. Dr. Hank, it's almost like I'm looking at your website, I'm looking at what you do, and I look at what I do, and I'm like, hey, great, great minds definitely think a lot. <laughs> but, uh, well, for sure, Wayne. Well, thanks yeah. for having me on your show, man. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and so, uh, you know, people that follow our site, Dr. Hank, they're salespeople, they're business owners, they're real estate agents, there's people that are out there making a difference. Yeah. And one thing that I always tell them is you got to influence yourself before you influence others. And I know that yeah. is really your degree and really your uh, area of expertise, your superpower. So yeah, right. Can you mind right. sharing a little bit about that with us? Sure, you bet. Well, so my PhD is in mental science, Wayne, and I'm a mental scientist. And basically what that means is I have been taught and then I have actually my own teaching on how thoughts become things. And that is really a fascinating arena because um, a lot of people don't think their thoughts really become things that they, they say, hey, I've been asking for money and where's my stuff? <laughs> and uh, and I can tell you why that is, is that because on every subject, every thought, every particle in the universe, there's either the wanted or the unwanted. So most people, for using the example of money, are saying, I want more money. And really what they're saying is, I don't have enough money. And then what they'll get is more, not enough money. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I can agree with you on that. Um, yeah, uh, what it, you, what you focus on will expand. You focus on poverty, that's going to expand. I love yeah. uh, what I love, Doctor Hank is is what I'm hearing is you're taking a mental, which is really what I love the whole the science behind instead of a law of attraction hope. You're right. actually putting what, how I really believe we were divinely created to attract and create. Yes, um, and so absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and so, and in fact, I'm glad you brought that up because I've been actually teaching this and I've written 15 books and, and on these principles of how thoughts become things. And again, it all depends on where you are emotionally with those thoughts, what side of those thoughts you are. But what's incredible is science, just what you brought up in the last just five years. And so this is quantum physicists, microbiologists, all of the disciplines of, of science have agreed that thoughts become things using three steps. And those three steps that, again, they agreed about five years ago on this, I've been teaching this for years, but that they, according to them, that they say for anything for us to experience anything, have any of our dreams come true, et cetera, that it's three steps. The first step is it's our all-powerful thought. So it is our thought. But then the second step that they include there is that that then thought turns to energy. Well, what, what that energy actually is, is our emotions. And that's why our emotions are so powerful and important for us to make sure that I'm emotionally high flying, if you will. I'm emotionally on the wanted side. And then step three is from our thoughts that creates this energy that then creates, according to the scientists, matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. So this is why thoughts become things. Now, what they did, uh, what they forgot about, what they didn't include is what you alluded to, you know, it might be called the universe, our higher power, God, whatever. And they really forgot about that part of it. So it's really a co-creative process where we do the asking and then we do the receiving. And so for us to be able to have these thoughts, unwanted thoughts, and more thinking about what will be than maybe what's going on right now in our life, because based on that formula that the scientists created, I've been teaching for over 20 years, that 
if it is our thoughts that create energy, our emotion that creates things, that then those thoughts, we what we're experiencing and seeing in our lives right now, Wayne, really is old news because it's our thoughts from previously that have created whatever we're experiencing today. Now, the one last thing that I'd like to share, and I know we're going to just do a short little um, uh, clip here on this. Yeah, yeah. But so people say, hold on, I've been asking for money or I've been asking for better health or whatever they've been asking for. And they say, I didn't get it. So I don't believe this. I don't buy into it. And so here's how it actually goes. That if you consider, let's say we wake up in the morning and we think these wonderful thoughts, I'm going to have a great day. My health's going to get better. More money's going to come to me. Easy money, easy life. In fact, I'd have everybody write that down. You start writing down and saying to yourself, easy money, easy life, easy money, easy life. More and more to yourself every day, you're going to start seeing that you're going to have easy money and easy life in, in you because it's just a high flying. It's one of my magical senses that taps into the subconscious. So back to what we were, were sharing there, that, um, that so we're thinking all these good things in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I think about what a great day and how easy money is going to come to me. And so let's call that yellow and think of a yellow paint, if you will. And so we have that yellow. And so we were thinking about yellow. But then we started living the day and, oh, someone cut us off. And, you know, we got into an argument with our spouse and well, a deal went south and whatever. So now we start observing what is, if you will, what we think is reality. But remember, the reality was, was created with our previous thought. And so we, we start now thinking about, oh, man, I got ripped off on that. I got this bad thing. I got that bad thing. So those are all all thoughts of the unwanted, and let's call that red. So if we mix the yellow, what you were thinking about, all the things that you wanted, and then the red, which by the way, 90% of the people think of unwanted, uh, negative, if you will, things. And so no wonder why most of us aren't very happy. And so if we mix the red and the yellow together, what color do you get? You get orange. Yeah, yeah. So people say, I didn't ask for oranges. And I go, oh, yes, you did. You were thinking about what you wanted, but then you were thinking about what you didn't want and what that kind of, what what your point of attraction is, you brought up the law of attraction, what your point of attraction then is something different than really what you want. And so that's why we get oranges in our lives when you think you didn't ask for oranges, but in fact, you were asking for yellow and then you were asking for that red. The more we can stop putting so much emphasis into what is and what's going on in what we think is our reality. And really our reality is what's going on right now in our minds, because those thoughts are gonna create things. I love it, I love it. That's where uh, I heard someone yesterday say, if you had a bad day or did you have a bad moment? Yeah. If you have a bad it, moment, you can overcome the moment. Don't yeah. make it ruin the whole day. And and I'll go even back to the Bible where it says a double-minded man receives nothing. Yeah. Because that double-mindedness is, as you yeah. said, yellow and red. Never thought of it that way. But if <laughs> you're not going to receive yellow and you're not going to receive red, you're going to receive nothing that you chose. Um, yeah. So yeah. Keeping that focal point. And what I also love, Dr. Hank, from what I've studied and looked on your information is you're not just – it's not just a positive thought process, but even like with right. real agents and so forth, you bring that yeah. into actionable steps. Absolutely. You bet. So, and, and what happens, like, for example, I just started coaching with an individual on Monday. So it's the first hour that we have. I do weekly hourly coaching. And, and that uh, first hour that we were with them and basically he was saying, hey, I don't have enough that, you know, things are working out for me, et cetera. And so I gave him just some very easy, practical th- steps to take and doing a joy shop in the morning and to be thinking 
about what he wants. And then I said, what inspired steps, you know, could we take right now for the rest of the week? And he goes, well, you know, I'd actually like to call some, you know, and, and so he identified some very practical things. Well, he uh, called me on Wednesday. So two days later, and he goes, my life has turned around that I got a listing. I got a, a two buyers. I have a commercial property. He goes, it, it's like it comes out of the blue. And I go, exactly. That's where it is, is that when we really put our faith and trust in our higher power, if you will, and uh, maybe we could use the word God, the G word there, that when we do that, the Father does the work. All we need to do is really ask about what we want and why we want it. And then you'll start seeing the magic showing up in your life. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I was really, I was just pulling up some notes, Dr. Hank, from, I wrote down earlier. And so since we brought up the G word, I'm a Christian minister. I'm fully, I believe everything that we have. God created the mind with so much power. Um, yes. But it really is this uh, ask, seek, and knock. Uh, yeah, right. Are, so ask is what you need is just a conversation away. Yeah. What you need yeah. from someone is usually a conversation. Now, the seeking is disconnecting from your current environment or your current comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe thinking the way you're telling them to think instead of the way they, you know, the red and the orange. And then yeah. the talking is recognizing that the strategies are sometimes you've got to seek out. I believe, uh, I'm really curious what you said earlier about just expecting that easy day because, um, yeah. I believe what we expect is what we experience. Uh, yeah. A, a father walks into a child's room and there's boxes and there's mess. And to the father, it's a mess. To the child, it's a fort. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's, all in, it's all up here. So Yeah, um, it's all up there. Well, so here's the irony of that and the beauty of this, that I also am an ordained minister and went to seminary perfect. school for four years. And I did that because I didn't understand this God thing because everybody in every different pulpit was saying something different. And now the probably the biggest thing that I really understand now is that God communicates with us through our feelings. When we feel bad, that is our indication uh, that we are not thinking about this situation, subject, et cetera, the way that God is. And when oh, we good. feel good that we are on our lighted path and we're thinking about this subject as God is. And when we really start to understand that that's how the communication system is with God and thus God's communication system it's really not our words, but it's what the energy, like the scientists had said, our thoughts, these words created. By the way, the word is so powerful because it's articulated thought. So it actually yeah. takes a thought and articulates yeah. into why the word is so powerful. So when we have this articulated a, a thought when we have the words, when we have, have the thought and we create this energy, it's this energy, these emotions on how we're communicating to God and God doesn't judge. So whatever I'm asking for, so if I'm saying I want more money and I love having money and money is, is uh, freedom and I want more freedom, if I'm asking that way or if I'm saying, oh, I need more money and that is those two opposites are there that God is reading our emotions. That's that's why you can't lie to God, if you will. And that's why also we really don't even have to monitor our thoughts. We just need to monitor how we're feeling. So the most important thing any of us can ask for each day in the morning when we wake up is I want to feel better. Because when I ask for that, God will lead us and give us the people, the thoughts, the circumstances, et cetera, to feel better. And when we feel better, that raises our vibration and it aligns us with our creator. That is so powerful. So powerful. Woo! So I start my, and uh, for time's sake, I won't give them the whole, but I have an evening meditation uh, prayer. Beautiful. Uh, I have one in the morning and it's every morning. It's the same uh, beginning with gratitude. Because yeah. I believe in priming that mind to look for more gratitude. For beginning yeah. with gratitude, expectations, and then um, and then again, my my decrees or my statements that are based. But to say a decree without that emotion behind it, I believe is 
Yeah. It's words, but the emotion is so powerful. Dr. Hank, yeah. we're definitely, I want everyone that's on here, the website's below. Be sure to check out Dr. Hank if you're in any kind of, uh, if you're wanting to move forward in life, I really, yeah. I know you've got a number, I think about 14 books now. You've got, yeah. uh, I've seen a lot, you've got webinars, there's different things people can connect you with for. Yes. And so I'm glad to see that. I'm glad we're definitely going to have you back on another show. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Great. Um, and love to connect deeper on that. Guys, if you're watching this, listening to this on a, a podcast, be sure to um, hit the share button. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody <laughs> yeah. has started their day out the wrong way. They're living in orange yeah. or red instead of yellow. And yeah. uh, they, need to, they need to know more about this. Um, so, Dr. Hank, there's your website. We'll make sure people connect with you. Also, if you're watching this, guys, and you have not connected with me, yourpersuasioncoach.com. Be sure to check out our blogs, articles, podcasts, videos, all that fun <laughs> stuff. And, of course, click on the button that says work with me, and we'll see if it be possibly something for you or not. But, um, Dr. Hank, thank you. And, again, I appreciate you being on. Well, Wayne, thank you. And really to anybody, and especially those people, if you're hurting right now, if if uh, you really need some help and you need a friend that uh, be happy to talk to any one of you, and you can call me 214-753-7204. And, um, you know, I can, yeah, I can help people grow their business, increase their health, overcome, you know, do all kinds of things. But if you're one of those people that really need a friend right now, reach out to me and I'd be happy to be your friend. That's awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Job. I think this shows a lot of your yeah. integrity. Thanks, guys. 